Hello everybody, you haven't heard from me in a couple of days and this is why I'm trying to stop playing this game and I'm going to do that by telling you how much I like it. This is the base building game and it's the best base building game out there. It's better than Dwarf Fortress, it's better than uh, Prison Architect, it's better than all of those and uh, it is quite good. So if you like base building games, that was the review, go out and get it. I'm going to go ahead and play it on camera for you. So there are lots of mods, and uh, and you can download them and make them, and it's very, very nice. Lots of mods. There's some a little bit of instability here and there, uh, but that's okay. One of the mods I usually play with is Crash Landing, but unfortunately it's difficult to show the game off if you're busy uh, with crashes. Well, let's go ahead and turn it on anyway, shall we? Just to see how it goes. So this is the only part of the game I think is kind of stupid. Um, these are not AI storytellers. You're just choosing whether you like all the same kind of events, random kinds of events, or long gaps between events. You can see that I've tried this a couple of times. Let's go ahead and try it one more time. Normally you would choose three characters randomly like this, uh, but I have a mod that allows me to prepare carefully and I can just load up the preset I'd like. This is three pretty solid characters. I've got uh, you know, a doctor, and uh, and a person who does everything, and someone who grows a lot of food. And that's pretty much a good combination. You can also change how much stuff you get. We're not going to. So the beginning of this game normally plays exactly like Dwarf Fortress. You arrive on the map, you look around for where you want to go, you start to build your base. It's The only difference is that in this game you don't mine quite as much. Uh, but I have installed that crash landing mod, and that means that I'm not simply going to land nicely and look around. I'm going to be surrounded in a sea of fire in the very, very near future. So these are my three guys. I've got Doc, and Margarita, and Decker. Uh, I think that this is a good spot for us to start to treat people. So I'm going to go ahead and order everyone to, when they have an option, put some medical stores down here. But I don't think I'll have very long, because the rest of the ship is coming down. These medical stores are the difference between life and death for our crashing, our poor crashing crypto sleep guests. So we're going to get a lot of people falling down from this guy here. Where is that? That's north. Okay. So I'm going to haul my ass up there with Doc. If I draft her, then I can order her around. Oh, geez. So um, each of these has five people in it. In this case, we got really lucky. Uh, two of the people survived, which isn't a great rate, but the biggest advantage here is that one of them can still walk. So that means that she can rescue the other, that she can actually rescue the other one, but we need some place for them to go. So we're going to put down some beds, or rather, we're going to designate some beds. As you might have guessed, these aren't actually beds, they're just places for people to sit. And I've just turned them all into medical beds, and I'm going to tell this uh, character to rescue this character. They're automatically added to my uh, crew pool, so I, I don't have to worry about recruiting them, which is kind of a shortcut that they took. Uh, there are, in fact, some uh, sirens everywhere. There are, in fact, some uh, people who can crash, prisoners can crash, uh, but, uh, oh, oh, okay, good. Prisoners can crash, but fortunately that's not going to be a big issue. So get your butt over here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and tell everyone... Not everyone, I'm going to go ahead and tell some people to clear away some grass. Because if the fire gets close, I don't want it to get inside. Uh, this is stone, so that's okay. But I have to remember that nobody is actually set up to do plant cutting. Via some oversight, uh, all of the characters are not interested. 
This is actually really cool because you can change it over to manual priorities if you feel like you really want to tweak stuff. And I sometimes do that because Hall is too low on the list. Unfortunately, we will never get to eat any of those foods. The fires will consume them before we get anywhere nearby. Where's Doc? There she is. More crypt to sleep, good. So we got some more people coming down, um, to the south. We're not taking Doc with us because she has to treat that poor injured person. Both of these poor injured people. Okay, so that's actually going east. There is a very, very nice AI core coming down, but unfortunately it's going to be too much of a pain in the ass for us to get. That went far south. Okay, so we actually have someone who's walking. But everyone else died. So Toon can probably make it back up there on his own. Uh, he's missing an arm, unfortunately, but that's okay. He's a geneticist. Uh, he can grow a new one. That means that you two uh, don't need to go down. The fires haven't really gotten started in earnest just yet. We've got a couple more ship pieces on the way down, I think. Cargo containers. I really like the idea of short cargo containers, but there's no way for us to put out the fire. So all of that... Look at that, there's like power armor and shit in there. Alright, well... Margarita, why don't you go ahead and put on some power armor before it burns up? More crypto sleep block, huh? Jack is alive, but Mags needs rescuing, so we'll go ahead and tell him to do that. Alright, so it doesn't look like I'm needed down there. But I do need some more beds. We got a lot of survivors. nearby. Oh shit. Oh fuck. It's been landing right on top of us. Who's got the highest skill here? Uh, construction. Margarita. Alright Margarita, let's hope that armor provides some protection against radiation. So as you can see, a reactor just landed on top of us, and this is the radioactive hotspot, the kill zone. Anything within this area gains radiation pretty quick and then dies. So what we need to do is we need to deconstruct it, uh, and we need to do it real fast. Fortunately, Margaret is right there, so I think that we'll manage to get it done. Um, I think everyone will be at around 60% of maximum danger level for radiation. Here. 
So this is not how the game normally begins. Normally it begins just like Dwarf Fortress. Crypto sleep block, are you kidding? Oh, Margarita got rid of it, didn't she? Oh, gosh, you're fast. So how much how much radiation did you pick up? 30%, that's not bad. You can see that everyone picked up radiation, though. So I'm going to need to turn on Margarita and Decker. And we are going to go and find this new Crypto sleep target. Where is it coming to? Over there. Wrong way. We're not needed. It turns out that they all died except for one guy, and he is on his feet. I don't know who bit him. Okay, come on. How much more ship do we have? I would really love for that to stick around, but it's not going to. Suarez, should you be on your feet? Oh, she's actually in pretty good condition. What can she do? Ah, oh, she can grow stuff. Okay, well, let's start to grow stuff. <laughs> Why not? We'll get into the Dwarf Fortress phase here. So I think that what we're going to do is we're going to build east because there's a lot of great stuff over here for our long-term use. And so that means that this is a good place to start building. We're also going to need to create a stockpile. We'll go ahead and create that here. And a dumping stockpile, which we can put anywhere we'd like. Where in the long run, we're also going to need some more wood but I don't know how long we're going to be safe from these fires, so we're going to have to take a lot of care here. Looks like we got someone named Mags helping us out. Or Toon? Is that Toon that's helping us out? No, it's, uh... No, it's not Mags either. Oh no, it's just, it's just random debris. Never mind. I thought it was a doctor holding a kit, but it's just random. No, it's Jack. So we've got a character named Jack helping us out. Here he is. He's missing a little bit of his uh, hand, but he doesn't seem to be overly bothered by it. Oh yeah, we're going to have to build some places to bury people. Yeah, I'm not surprised. If you're in a poor mood, you have every right to be. Yay, we're done. Alright, it's going to be a while before our food is actually ready, so what we need to do is we need to get ourselves a source of food that we can uh, live with. And I think the easiest way to do that is to start building up some s solar panels here. And, uh attach them to uh, something that can produce food, like, um, cook stuff. Usually you'd use just a normal conduit, but I plan to surround that cook stove, uh, so I might as well use the special wall conduit, since it's going to be indoors anyway. I guess I should probably go ahead and create a fire break, just in case the rain does not start like it usually does. Alright, so let's go over those who are still injured here. Um, unfortunately, Mags is going to be out for a long time. Uh, and so is the Twig. We need cybernetics to bring them back up. But everyone else is functional, even though bits of them might be... Oh, this guy's missing a whole arm. And everyone is, of course, sick with radiation. 
and Margarita's Power Ranger outfit suits her just fine. Are you gonna dive into the fire to grab some steel? You are an idiot. What is in here that needs to be banned? It should all be banned. Where are you going? Are you seriously finding something in here that you like? Oh, beating fire out. You do not need to beat the fires out. That is the exact opposite of what I want you to do. Never beat these fires out. Why is she... There's nothing over there. You shouldn't be beating any, th any fires out. What is she so desperately in need of here? Okay. Interesting. Okay, good. The rain started. So, Margarita, how much did you injure yourself doing dumb shit? Uh, you're an idiot. Where's Doc? Doc, you need to stop- okay, Wolf has got her, that's fine. Burns don't generally turn into anything terrible if you don't treat them perfectly. So, we're really hopeful that this rain will... Oh, look at all that plasteel. That's great. We're really hopeful that this rain will make it so that we don't die a fiery death. You can see that the fire is starting to die down already. Uh, and I'm very thankful that the modder put in, uh, as far as I can tell, a mandatory rain scene after um, the ship crash. Because it would have been rough uh, to try and deal with that without a... Uh, without a rain. So, we've got some other hunters here, and some of them might be well suited to hunting, but we've only got one hunting weapon, and that would be Dox. Uh, she's not ready to go hunting yet, though, because she still has people to treat, I think. No, I guess not. And I guess let's go hunting. Oh, we don't have a butcher table, so there's no reason to. Alright, everyone, you can now access these flaming pieces of debris. Oh, look! Food! Great. Some food survived the crash. That's exactly what we needed. Got some people we've got to bury. There should really be an unban all option. Maybe there is, and I just haven't found it yet. Hey, Toon, you're all healthy again. Well, aside from your arm. So the reason I really like this particular setup is because it's a fast start. Obviously, um, the crash is pretty devastating, and it forces you to think on your feet. But it gets you a lot of people, uh, a lot of whom are come you know, prepackaged with interesting problems to solve. Um, like, we've got some people who are missing legs. And obviously, that means that we're going to have to build some legs. Yep. It happens. As long as her wandering around in the days does not involve wandering into fire. I think that's... Excuse me, I got the hiccups all of a sudden. I think that's everything. Alright, so this is still outdoors. Let's go ahead and put it indoors by adding in a wooden wall and a wooden door. But we're also going to need to build some actual indoor space here. Um, let's build some furniture. We're going to need to have this wooden table and... Um, these, are, these are great little mods because the tables in the default game are awful. There's our Power Ranger, healed from her burns. Okay, Toon, are you still, uh... Yeah, what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? Oh, you're a depressive person. 
Uh, some of the characteristics that people get are really bad, and depressive is definitely one of them. Minus 14 is a huge penalty, especially with the additional uh, issues, as you can see. So he's probably just going to keep breaking until we finish uh, stabilizing. But he did his job as a doctor when we needed him to, so he earns his credits in my book. Okay, we need to have this built before we can do anything, but we might as well queue up. So this is very much like Dwarf Fortress, but it is a, uh, um, a lot faster, a lot easier to use. So, uh, let's put in a butcher table. Production butcher table. This does not require power. And let's create a zone here, a stockpile right here, for foodstuffs. And animal corpses. Oh, let's make it important. Well, we actually are out of beds, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to deconstruct some of these beds here. Uh, we don't need this stockpile anymore. We'll put in some real beds. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. You can go ahead and uh, freak out if you need to. Oh, I just uh, screwed that up. Looks like uh, the recorder is nice about it, though. If you accidentally click off the screen, it uh, continues to record the game. So now this cooking table can actually cook stuff, but we need some stuff to cook. So what we're going to do is we're going to order people to harvest some stuff. And we're going to order people some hunting stuff. Not very many animals nearby, are there? That's fine. Poor tune. There are, in fact, no medical... Um, support. There's no, there's no, like, you can't put tune on antidepressants, because there's no such thing as antidepressants in this game, which is kind of an oversight on their part. I mean, if we look at this, uh, tune here has, uh, thoughts that could definitely be, I mean, he has characteristics that could definitely be treated, but when we look at the health, he's got this right arm missing and that sort of stuff. We actually have a huge number of options as to what we want to do medically. We can install cyberware once we invent cyberware. Uh, we can do some uh, some really, really uh, off-the-wall stuff. It's it's just like the, the Dwarf Fortress health simulation, except in this case, um, the characters can be repaired and can be cybernetically enhanced. Whereas in Dwarf Fortress, that's not really... not really something you can easily do. So let's take a look here. We've got some people who are on cooking. Oh, we do, we do not. We only have... You gonna cook it? Yeah, cook it. Don't really care about those crahy batteries. I think it was supposed to be cracked batteries. Alright, well let's go ahead and uh, get some more wood. And begin to expand in earnest. We'll turn this into a prisoner bay uh, once we've built a better place to live. So let's go ahead and build a better place to live. So the reality of this situation is that uh, conduits explode. I don't know if wooden conduit, wall conduit walls are less likely to explode or not, but they feel less likely to explode, so I'm going to go ahead and use them. Uh, where I can. Let's go ahead and just bring it all the way up. Yeah, right. And we're going to want to use a wooden auto door here so that it opens fast when we want to get through. Doc's hunting up some more food for us. We're going to need as much food as possible because we got a lot of mouths to feed all of a sudden. So let's take a look at the two people, some of the people here who are still stuck in the, in their, um, 
Okay, so he's going to be down for a while, and she's going to be down for a while. We need to research cybernetics. So let's speed up and get a little bit of work done here. People are still recovering from that uh, um, radiation. It's going to be a while. Radiation takes a long time to give out. You can see that we, what happens here is, during the night we can't cook anything, because the solar panels don't provide energy during the night. Yeah, I wonder who that is. Tune exhaustion. Uh, we didn't build our beds fast enough. It seems like we have eight people. Doc really does not deserve to be the one sleeping out in the rain, but we don't have much option at this point. We weren't quite fast enough. So our power just came back online. Got a lot of silver. It's basically... Oh, there's some steel. Good. Alright, the rain is nice. Uh, you can stop now. We got enough rain. So now that this is indoors, what we're going to do is we're going to fill it with beds. Real ones, not fake ones like before. We'll have to wait for Doc to wake up to finish that. Oh, Suarez, I thought that he was done sleeping, but in fact he'd just begun. Let's go ahead and uh, assign this to Suarez, just so he can get a little bit of sleep here. I didn't know that cook stoves could short circuit. Wow, that's annoying. Oh well. It'll be inside soon enough. So we need some batteries, and uh, in order to do that, we need to actually make this indoors. So let's go ahead and work on that. And you can see I sort of planned for it. Now, um, the, the actual stuff is in the way here, but I don't think that's going to be an issue. I'll move it. brilliant name. So, I can't build batteries in the rain, or rather you can, but if you build batteries outside, you are guaranteed to have them explode. So I'm going to wait patiently for the rain to stop a little bit. There we go. We'll build two batteries, and we'll build another solar panel. Now, as someone who works in the solar industry, I can tell you you don't want to build solar panels up against the wall of the building like I've done. Um, it's just not a great idea. All right, good, good, good. We're almost ready. Let's go ahead and put some flooring down. I don't know whether they notice that they're on grass or not, but I notice, and I'd like them to not be on grass. And so what we're going to do is we're actually going to go ahead and designate these as a prisoner zone. And that means that we need to carry these two unfortunates, since they can't move on their own yet. Why didn't you actually rescue her? There we are. Sorry, I'm trying to look through um, the the, mo the moir pattern of all of these floorboards that have yet to be built. I think we're going to need more. Now, we don't have, um, we have a couple of chefs here. Where's our, our, our grower here? Uh, we want to be sure that not all of these people are set to construction, um, because uh, if you are set to construction, you will prefer to do construction over literally everything else. So I'm making sure that we have a couple of people who aren't set to construct. In fact, right now we've only got three people, two and a half people that are set to constru construct. 
And that means that we'll get enough food, because we won't be so focused on construction that we forget to actually harvest these plants. Oh. Doc, you fell asleep there again? That's actually enough, but I didn't want Doc to sleep on the floor. I was gonna build another bed. I just forgot to. Come on, Doc. Wake up. Up you get. Oh, God damn it! I missed. And we will assign one of these beds as a medical bed. No, wait. The one near the door. Just in case something happens or we find someone who's sick. And of course, this place over here is good enough for our prisoners. Let's go ahead and deconstruct some of these so that we. We're not going to need. We're not going to need anywhere near that many prison beds. Uh, so we've got a little bit of juice, but we still have to finish building that one little uh, area there. Are we out of iron? Out of steel? A wild boar has gone mad. I think Doc needs to take care of that. Where the hell is Doc? Sorry, the sun is actually shining on my screen at just the wrong angle. This is the right right place, correct? This is more or less where we were. I don't know which boar it was, but I think that... Where the hell is the boar? For now, just trail behind Jack. Hold on, I just heard the boar. I have totally mistaken which direction everything was in here. She's got a knife and armor, so I'm hoping that she'll be okay. Okay, good. That was bad of me. Usually I'm not quite that bad at it, but I couldn't see the screen very well. So, we're starting to develop our base, but there is one important detail we still have to do. Um, what the hell just happened? Okay. There's still one important detail we have to do, and that is starting our research. So, let's start to build out our structure. one space larger than I thought it was. Better put down some floors before we get in the research mood here. So it's actually a little cool outside, but that's not going to last long. It's January and it's, you know, that temperature. Um, why are you guys eating? What the hell? You should be cooking. Cook, cook, cook. Why is cooking such a low priority? Did I forget to butcher? Oh, I did. That was the problem. Infinite amount of butchery, please. Yeah. I forgot to set the task up, which is why it wasn't happening. I was like, why, why are they eating it raw? What's going on? Yeah, yeah, that was great. You guys should just eat raw meat and raw potatoes because you're too lazy to cook. That happens from time to time. You screw up on your, on your stuff and they get a little bit panicky. Yeah, of course you're in a poor mood. You just ate raw meat. Did someone cut that tree down, please?
Poor Toon. Maybe if I get him a new arm, he'll be a happier guy. Although I think I need two grades of, of cybernetics for that. There are several cybernetics mods. The one I had before actually started you off with a cybernetics kit that you could build um, just right off the bat, but this one you re requires you to research it. Um, which, you know, there's good and bad in that. I think it's time for us to start putting in some lights. Wanted to put in some cooler too, some at some point here. Yeah, you can go ahead and wander around in a day's tune. That, that's fine. I accept that. Somebody wanted to prove something. If you could hear that outside. Uh, what am I trying to do? Mining. So you see this geyser. We're going to get to that pretty soon. I've got to designate a research target, and I could designate something which actually allows me to get that geyser to work. But what I actually really need to start with is Craftsman Technologies, um, which allows me to do prosthetic legs. Uh, I don't know whether it's wooden wooden peg legs or what. You know, I think I actually have a wooden peg leg. I remember seeing that. Which one of you dudes needs a wooden peg leg? Left leg. Uh, okay, you are you got too many problems. Here, this guy. So, if we have a wooden peg leg... Oh, we don't have one. Okay. We've got a wooden jaw for some reason, but not a wooden peg leg. We're running low on food again because of that momentary problem where we screwed up, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and fix that up right now. Welcome back, Toon. And now you've eaten raw potatoes, so you're going to get upset again. At least it wasn't raw boar meat this time. I think I need a lot more food. I didn't really realize just how many people I had in my crew now. So we're going to double the amount of food production we do. I think I've got to cut some more wood, too. You can actually see up here what you've got available to you, and you notice how there's no wood in that list. There should be now. I guess it only counts if it's in a stockpile. So it says that we need to be defended, but right now we're a little bit busy trying to survive. We've got a visitor. Oh, we've got a lot of visitors. Visitors are very passive. Um, they mostly serve as an interesting kind of distraction. There's nothing really you can do with them, uh, except capture them or torment them if you really wanted to. But um, normally when there's a group of visitors, before they leave there will be another event and things will go horribly, horribly wrong, which is always fun. We still need some more food. Let's go ahead and see whether or not we can harvest some stuff. Yep, that's fine, Toon. You go ahead and have your, your little problem. We've got lots of uh, stuff, and we've got a research desk. Let's go ahead and bring our research staff online. Um, we were currently using Doc as a hunter. What we're going to do is we're going to have her drop her weapon, and I'm going to give uh, the the weapon to Suarez instead. So let's go over to Doc. Gear. Drop the survival rifle. And now let's find Suarez and her cute little pigtails, and you can equip it. And now we can assign hunting without taking our primary doctor and researcher offline, which is nice. Let's make sure the dock is set up properly. Hauling, 
Crafting is okay. Plant cutting and growing. Okay, she's just going to focus on research. A lot of people doing growing, but for some reason there's not much growing going on. I guess it'll be another minute or two before they're ready. Cook! We have a few people cooking, is that the issue? We've got a lot of people cooking. You can actually prioritize things, but if you micromanage that, I find it's really boring. So, we're getting our research done. For some reason, Decker's doing the research instead of Doc. Decker, can you go do something else? Like, anything else? Wolf, you also don't need to do any research. Okay, whatever. You can see how we've got a lot of colonists idle. And it says we should find something for them to do. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and set it up to mine some more. You cannot have enough steel. Especially when the steel comes like pre-packaged like this, it's just—it's not even iron ore. It's just steel straight up. Now, as you can see, at this phase, it's a lot like Dwarf Fortress, but unlike Dwarf Fortress, this has a powerful forward motion to it, um, where you uh, research more and more stuff and you integrate better and better mods. Um, you can stop watching now if you'd like. It's gonna be more like this. As uh, fuck, are you kidding? It's funny how seemingly small things uh, can really screw you over. In this case, um, we didn't have any food to begin with, and now all of our crops just died. It's actually pretty rare that that... not cut wood, what am I doing? It's actually pretty rare that that matters. But it's time for us to go out and get a glut of meat. There. Okay, well, that's not going to work, but that's okay. Okay, finally, Doc is doing the researching. She's a lot faster, uh, so that would, that's something nice. Twig is making himself a... Uh... There, good, finally. So now we can research other things we want, like glass and hydroponics and brewing and all this cool stuff. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, look. It doesn't really matter, uh, since it's going to be after I finish this particular game, but geothermal power is going to be fine. I'm not going to take this uh, any further. I'm just going to build the, um, the craftsman bench here, and then we're going to uh, just consider this... I'm going to, you know, build someone peg legs. And that'll be where I'll stop. But you have to understand, this has a lot of really powerful um, growth to it. It's got a lot of pieces, and they all mesh together pretty well. So, for example, right now I'm using solar panels, but soon I'll be switching over to geothermal and wind power uh, in addition. And you haven't seen anything go wrong, because I've been pretty good about building my base. Although I have poor uh, hauling management, that's okay. So, normally speaking, at this stage, you would be just now encountering something awful, and uh, and things would not be going your way. And uh, for me, that was just this food problem. Food is pretty easy to manage if you understand uh, that you need to go out and get some more. Yeah, Wolf, you should definitely eat that raw meat. You would live up to your name. Yeah, feed the raw meat to... The lady who can't move. Mm -hmm. 
You know, Jack, you went to bed, but I need you to do more cooking. No? You don't want to get up? Floor they couldn't reach. Where the hell is Doc going? Need to do some more hunting, I think. I'm shocked. Toon's in a poor mood. He's a mining one-handed, though. He's getting a good go. Nobody cares about building anymore, huh? What is our construction? We do have some people constructing. It's just they're not going to get around to it for some reason. Decker, where are, where are you, Decker? Are you cooking? Yeah. That's fine. That's way more important. Mining, however, is not way more important. Let's let's stop the mining. Do we not? Do we have plenty of wood. Why isn't this being built? I guess I can tell Decker to build it. Oh, but he's cooking. really screwed us over. That plague, that whatever it was, the blight. Get our food under our belts before we can really start to build some prosthetics. Of course he's starving, he's an idiot. There's no food for him though. He's not dazed anymore, but now he's coming home and there's nothing here for him. Still gonna be a day before this is ready. Normally food isn't quite this hard. We had a double blow having a lot more people than normal. And uh, that blight. So here's the cobra. We're just gonna keep our eye on it. Hopefully it'll attack our visitors. It looks like it's chosen to attack Margarita. So where is our hunter, Suarez? There she is. I think she just got bit while I wasn't looking. Yeah. That's annoying, but that's okay. Margarita will take care of it once... I mean, uh, Suarez will take care of it once we get within range. Oh, look! Armor! Okay, you go ahead and wear armor. I didn't mean to draft her, I meant to undraft her. <laughs> Apparently the boars went crazy. Could you not shoot my... Wow, you are an idiot. Could you not shoot me? You're an idiot. You can deal with the boars, I'm going home. Boars are not a threat, but friggin' ladies shooting me in the back of the head certainly are. 
Well, they shot their own person dead, so I guess I can't really blame them that much. Well, food. We'll just call it an extremely uh, good hunting trip. But unfortunately, I'm a little bit worried that Margarita is not going to get through this unscathed. That's a lot of damage this for her to take. Well, we'll find out. It wasn't just more as Suarez. Margarita, they both got filled full of holes by friendlies. Kidding? <sighs> Alright, here we go. We've got Decker with a pistol. We'll put him here. Suarez over here. Margarita has a knife. Oh good, they're going to attack the visitors. They're probably going to come after us when they're done, though. Gonna fight back? Oh, good. Here's Les Trot. She can fill people full of holes. She has much better aim when she's shooting at the back of a friendly's head. Alright, problem is resolved. Everyone can go back to sleep or whatever. Carbon fiber pants. Too bad they're in bad shape. Yeah, I didn't really intend to finish the research, but I guess I guess we did. Uh, I'm not going to bother to put another research topic up. Good news, we've got food. I'll put you back on hauling duty. getting some food flow back in here again. Hey, Wolf, you're idle? What do you want to do with your life? Oh, well, you're not allowed to haul anything, that's why. I guess you can be our researcher, then. We'll just assign you something, anything. Oh, man, we are now much better off. And this means we might actually be able to finish what I tried to finish ten minutes ago. <laughs> now obviously it's better to build a refrigerator, and we can do that, but uh, we don't have enough space, we don't have enough uh, free time, or for free resources to do it. Since our food isn't going bad faster than people are eating it, there's no reason to worry about it. Q. 
keep cooking. Cook! <laughs> How are four colonists idle? Um, Deck, Doc, Decker, Toon, and Jack. Why isn't anyone building this? Where's Decker? For some reason this isn't getting built, and it's not because of a lack of resources, I don't think. Maybe we need more wood? Are we? I don't got, we've got loads of wood. Look at all this wood. Loads of metal too, see? So why isn't it getting built? It only needs a hundred wood. Is this not actually a hundred wood? Is this like turning out to be slightly under a hundred? No, I think it's a hundred. Oh good, Decker's finally working on it. Jesus. We must have had 99 wood. Okay, you can cook for a while instead kind of an ass starting something and then stopping. Decker, could you go finish what you start, please? Oh, okay. Someone else is doing it. Finally! Jesus! Okay, so let's get fun done with what I was trying to do here, which is we need to create some... Okay, so it actually is not a peg leg that we're creating. We're creating, like, a proper leg leg. So we need two prosthetic legs. A prosthetic arm. Um... I think that's all I really needed. Let's go ahead and see what it takes to create medicine, though. Let's see what this is here. We need... 10 herbal medicine, 5 cloth, and 2 steel. Interesting. I've never played with this mod before, but that, that's cool. Let's go ahead and see what it takes to build these prosthetic legs. 10 wood, 5 steel. Not bad, not bad. And prosthetic arm requires 10 wood, 5 steel. How about those carbon fiber arms? What does it take to create carbon fiber? Five carbon fiber. So when I create carbon fiber, how expensive is that? I'm working out the supply chain here, as you can see. Two cloth. Okay, we don't have any cloth, but that's really nice. Oh man, I'm gonna like this mod, except for I'm gonna stop playing this game after I finish this video. <laughs> Let's go ahead and finish off the uh, uh, the crafting here. Okay, so we have a fake arm, a fake leg now. Let's go ahead and set him up. We don't have any medicine, though. Hmm, this might not actually work. Come on. Let's start up with Mags here, because she's only missing one leg. Nope, she's the one that missing. She's missing a foot too. So if we install it, no, we don't have any medicine. Oh, there you go. I accidentally forgot that we needed medicine. So that's how this game plays. I'll have to grow some medicine, um, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stop now. I'm going to stop now. Definitely going to stop. Yep. <laughs>